I give you a new commandment that you love one another, love one another, love one another as I Jesus was troubled in spirit and declared, Very truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, uncertain of whom he was speaking. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter therefore motioned to him to ask Jesus of whom he was speaking. So while reclining next to Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. So when he had dipped the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. After he received the piece of bread, Satan entered into him. Jesus said to him, Do quickly what you are going to do. Now no one at the table knew why he said this to him. Some thought that, because Judas had the common purse, Jesus was telling him, Buy what we need for the festival, or that he should give something to the poor. So after receiving the piece of bread, he immediately went out, and it was night. When he had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus answered, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, but you will follow afterward. Peter said to him, Lord, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Very truly I tell you, before the cock crows, you will have denied me three times. He took a towel and a basin of water and washed the feet of his In this text, what seems to be on Jesus' heart is found in verses 34-35. I'm giving you a new commandment, that you love one another just as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. I don't know about you, but wow, a new commandment from Jesus himself? This must really be important to him. After all, he knows what lies ahead. He has just outed Judas, his betrayer, who had walked beside him for three years. He had just put Peter in his place by telling him he was going to deny him three times. He knows he's going to lay down his life for his friends and the world. And yet he knows he must share this new commandment. So I ask each of you, how do we love each other as Jesus loved us? I found online a list of 10 ways by Ginger Harrington. Be devoted and give preference to one another. Romans 12.10 Build up one another. Romans 14.19 Accept one another, Romans fifteen seven. Care for one another, First Corinthians twelve twenty five. Serve one another, Galatians five thirteen. Bear one another's burden, Galatians six two. Be kind, tender hearted, and forgiving with one another, Ephesians four three. Regard others as more important. Philippians 2.3 Bear with and forgive complaints against others. Colossians 3.13 Encourage and esteem one another. 1 Thessalonians 5.11-14 
May we look to the Holy Spirit's guidance to show us how to love as Christ loved us. Wash your feet, so you must do for each other. Thus all will know. O God, by the passion of your blessed Son, you made an instrument of shameful death to be for us the means of life. Grant me so to glorify in the cross of Christ that I may gladly suffer shame and loss for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, for by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. you love one another, love one another, love one another, as I have.